Welcome back to Cooking with Fire. I'm Battalion Chief Ron Laschek. And I'm Firefighter Greg Ford. We got a great show for you. First one of the new decade. We're going to be doing wild mallard breasts and snow goose breast. And I'm going to be doing bacon wrapped venison tenderloin. So stay tuned for a great episode of Cooking with Fire. Welcome back with Cooking with Fire. This is the first part of our, of our meal. Um, it's going to be like the longer portion, so we kind of have to get it in, and uh, we'll cook the rest of it for you on uh, TV here. So first we got bacon-wrapped venison tenderloin. Um, I was lucky enough to harvest this deer uh, earlier this year uh, during October up in northern Michigan uh, during my time off in uh, Grayling, Michigan. So uh, brought it in today to cook for the guys, and let's, let's make it happen. So first, you're going to want to get your two tenderloins, and then you're going to want to season them with uh, garlic and some Montreal seasoning and a little paprika, just kind of get some color to it. And then, pretty simple, you're going to preheat your smoker, and we're going to smoke these two, by the way. You're going to preheat your smoker to 275, and you're going to want an internal temp of 130. So it's kind of like you want to do it medium rare, almost kind of rare, because it's like basically like filet mignon. So we're going to get our gloves on first. And we already uh, pre-seasoned our uh, tenderloin here. And then we're going to get it wrapped in bacon. And then we're going to toss in a smoker. And you're going to probably smoke it for at least 45 minutes to an hour. So what you're going to do is you're going to get thin sliced bacon because a little thick uh, slice will take a little bit longer to cook. And you want the bacon to cook all the way through. Then you're just going to slowly overlap it just enough so it kind of sticks together. And then you're going to do each tenderloin the exact same way. And if for some reason the bacon's not sticking well, um, you want to put some to toothpicks on it, which I probably will here, just so it's a little bit neater. And just remember how many toothpicks you put in, because you don't want to accidentally have to bite into one of those. So then we're going to do the other one. And before cooking these, you want to get these uh, tenderloins pretty much to room temperature. And rule of thumb, I usually do, uh, for the toothpicks, I usually do four toothpicks, five depending on the size. So we'll get a couple toothpicks here. One, two, Three and four. One, two, three, and four. All right. So that's what it looks like. You can season it a little bit on the top there just so you give it a little bit of color. And then we're going to take this out, put it on the smoker, and let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, we're gonna come out, get these tenderloins on the smoker. And if you guys don't know what a smoker is, basically it's a convection oven. So what it is, you add wood chips to the burner and it kind of gives your meat a smoke flavor, which we love here at the firehouse. So we've had our um, smoker preheating 275, 277 for a few, a few minutes. So now it's nice and warm, got the smoke coming out there. Then we have our water tray on the bottom there just to keep everything moist. So you're gonna grab your tenderloin, you're gonna place it right on the rack. And 
just like so. Then you're going to grab your probes and you're going to want an internal temp of 130. Once you get that, you'll be all set. Make sure you get it kind of in the hardy part of the, part of the uh, tender line there. All right, that's it. That's what it looks like. You go ahead and close your door. Lock it up and let it cook for 45 minutes to an hour and we'll be all set. And now we're going to do part two of our cooking. Uh, we're going to do some bacon wrap duck breast with Ron Lascheck. Thanks, Craig. Now we're going to be back with our second meal. What we're going to be doing is uh, I'm doing some wild ducks. Most of them are harvested here in Michigan, but I also have some snow goose breasts. We are fortunate to go out to uh, North Dakota, a small town called Candu, North Dakota. It's uh, northwest of Devil's Lake. So what I'm going to do is the, the duck breast, you get the breast out, you marinate them for a couple hours. Uh, clean them all up, marinate them. I got them marinating. We like to use this uh, Dale seasoning, low sodium, outstanding for wild game or even just regular uh, beef or chicken. So I'm going to show you, we're going to put them together. We're going to wrap them and we're going to put them on the grill and we're going to time it where Greg's meal and my meal come together and uh, we'll show you a great uh, outstanding meal. So like I said, these are uh, puddle ducks, mostly mallards, pintails, and then we got some snow goose uh, breasts. So what you want to do is after you're marinated for a couple hours, you want to make a small cut right in the middle of the breast. You don't want to go all the way through. You want to kind of keep it whole. And then we have two cheeses. I got the, uh, the pepper jack or the double cheese. Um, I got the pa purple onion. You want to slice that really thin. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the block of cheese and cut a little sliver off each one of them. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick that right in the middle of the duck breast like that. You're going to take a nice sliver of onion. You're going to put that right in the middle and then here's the number one thing is the bacon. What you're going to do is you're going to have to, as you do more and more you'll get used to it. You put a little toothpick in there to hold it. We'll get the toothpick in there and then what you want to do is you want to kind of pick it up and hold it together and wrap the bacon right around it. Just like that. Once again, we'll toothpick it right together, right through the meat. Like uh, firefighter Greg said, Ford said, re remember how many uh, toothpicks you put in, because you want to make sure they take them out. I usually put two in each one, so it's kind of easy to remember. Um, once you got them all, all done, like I said, the seasoning and the uh, marinate pretty much takes uh, the seasoning. I put a little garlic little bit of the Montreal steak seasoning in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these out, one a guy, two a guy, depending on your uh, appetite. We're going to put them on the grill and we're going to grill them for about seven to eight minutes a side. You'll flip them over. So it's, it's, it's a quick meal, 15 minutes. Uh, Greg's is a little longer. So I'm going to make a couple and then uh, we'll get them all done and we'll bring everything together. So I'll take these out on the grill. And like I said, uh, it's wild duck breast. We're going to put these on the grill. They're all made up. And the thing is with any wild game, venison, duck breast, any wild game, you want to eat on the rare side. You don't want to make it anything more than medium rare because once you cook it and it starts getting too well done, it's going to get tough. Wild game doesn't have any fat in it, doesn't have any marbling in the meat. It's all meat. So we're going to put these on. Like I said, it doesn't take long for these, probably um, maybe seven to eight minutes a side. We'll flip them. You want to get your grill really hot. You can hear them sizzling as I'm putting them on.
So we got them on there. Like I said, we're going to let them cook about eight to nine minutes a side, and then we'll flip them and then uh, cook them again for about seven, eight minutes, and we'll be done. So I'm going to go in and rinse this out. I'm going to go see how Firefighter Ford's doing. Uh, I hear him calling. His meat's getting ready to be uh, pulled out of the smoker. So we'll go from there. Stay tuned. Hi, my name's Paul Smith, host of People, Parks, and Programs, right here on TV Warren. Tune in every month for our show, People, Parks, and Programs. I'll take you through all the upcoming activities that are taking place in the city of Warren every month. We'll give you all the latest updates from the Parks and Recreation Department, including how to sign up for things like exercise classes, sporting events, birthday parties, and much more. Whether it's winter, spring, summer, or fall, Warren Parks and Rec is a special event for all. So keep it tuned right here every month on TV Warren for people, parks, and programs. these hot ashes are about to be dumped, which could possibly start a wildfire. How will Smokey deal with such a hot situation? The garden hose defense. Next, a thorough stir. Then, another spray. And finally, feeling if the ashes are cool. Oh, yeah. ah, yes, the selfie. A ritual practiced so frequently with this tribe, but not so much by Smokey Bear. Only you can prevent wildfires. Are you a fan of comics, superheroes, and pop culture? For one weekend a year, over at Macomb Community College is the Great Lakes Comic Convention. Meet celebrity guests, become your favorite hero or villain. Vendors from all over will be on hand with comics, toys, collectibles, and more. Join your host, Paul and Ben, in this award-winning program on TV Warren, where we give you an exclusive look at the Great Lakes Comic Convention each and every year. All right, these are done now, so we're gonna take these off. We'll take them in. And uh, they've been cooking, like I said, for about... All right, so we got them all done and they're all ready to go. So I'm gonna to toss it back to Greg. He's pulling his uh, tender lines off the smoker. All right, so my thermometer went off. Our tender loins both read 130. We're gonna pull these out. They've been in the smoker for about 45 minutes and they're looking good. So we're gonna grab each one, put it on the, our cutting board here. Just careful, the bacon might be a little loose. And all right, we're going to go back inside with Ron, and we're going to plate these up, and we're going to have a good meal. All right, let's do it. All right, we're back inside. Uh, Chief Lashek's got his all uh, plated up, and I'm going to add mine there. So we got tenderloin. You just cut off a piece of bacon with the tenderloin. Oh, that's perfect. Place that like so. Mm. All right, and, and like... Once again, like I said, you want to have all wild game meat. You want to have it very rare. You don't want to eat anything well done, medium rare at the most, because otherwise it's going to get tough. None of your meat uh, wild game is uh, marbleized, so there's no fat in it. So these are the wild duck breasts and uh, snow goose breasts, venison tenderloin. Um, just want to show that uh, the Warren Fire Department's having a wild game dinner March 28th. We hope anyone uh, that can uh, make it. We're selling tickets. We got sponsors for tables. There's going to be prizes, tons of wild game. So come on out, try it. Um, and uh, I just wanted to say I wanted to thank uh, the Meyer at 12 and Mound for sponsoring this show, for making this happen. We've had nothing but fun, and everybody's we've gotten positive feedback from it. So we're going to continue to keep doing the show, and uh, we'll see you next time.
So stay tuned for another show with Cooking and Fire in the Future. Welcome to New Decade.